There's so many pheasants flying around, but the problem... Oh. What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we go any farther, I just wanted to let you guys know Mountain Dew is still running their grant program. If some of you haven't been keeping up with the latest news, Mountain Dew has decided to give away grants to different organizations nationwide. If you guys click the link down below, you guys can either apply to win a grant or you guys can nominate an organization to win the grant. I also wanted to let you guys know that I have decided to donate to Pheasants Forever and they are a nonprofit organization that helps preserve the lives of quail, pheasants, and other wildlife. They do all of that by helping create more habitat for the animals as well as spreading education about it and creating more public access. So if you guys wanna check out Pheasants Forever, they'll be linked down below as well as Mountain Dew where again, you guys can apply or nominate. And without further ado, let's get in today's video. Hey, oh jeez, are you good, bro? Are you good? Oh God, Daisy destroyed the lens, bro. What's up, you sexy beast? How's it going? It's We're going down in orange, bro. I'm ready to shoot a deer. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Big deer grinders. Oh, guys, it is pheasant opener here in South Dakota, the non-resident pheasant opener. And uh, some may say it's a national holiday. I was saying the resident opener is a national holiday, oh, yeah. but the non-resident, that's like Christmas for everybody here in Sodak. And uh, we made it out here. We're gonna do some pheasant hunting today. We got the brothers, we got Mike Lehman, and we have a special guest whose land we're actually hunting on today. Um, Sam and I have been coming here since we were like high schoolers. I shot my first pheasant out of here. You did? Yeah, my first oh. ever pheasant. I didn't know that. Sam actually shot his first pheasant here. And I've come out here plenty of times too with my dad and Daisy. Dad, are you excited for today? Oh yeah. <laughs> first time out to the, this year. And then we have this special guest. This is Kent. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Some call you a legend around this area. Well, you know, they're, uh, they're uh, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but Kent's actually property is, how, ma how many acres is your property roughly? 240. 240, okay. Yeah. So Kent's property, like we were saying earlier, we, we've been coming here since we were in high school. 240 acres, and he has been so kind enough to let us hunt it, and uh, every time we come out here, it's a great day, especially on pheasant opener. So that's kind of what we got going on today. We're gonna have, uh, let's see, three walkers, and Kent's gonna block. And if you guys were curious what type of shells I'm shooting today, I'm gonna be shooting some Remington game loads right here. These are two and three quarters, eight shot, and it's one ounce. So we're gonna see how I do with them i think sam's gonna be shooting six shot and uh yeah i'm looking forward to this guys it's the evening we got a yeah, maybe an hour left of sunlight you guys stay tuned you're not gonna want to miss it all right michael you ready for this right. pheasant season 2021 2021 let's see how we shoot today uh, daisy's definitely excited oh you're getting your stretches in dad oh yeah yeah i probably should get the stretches in too sam Make sure to get some stretches in. Nope. All right, boys, we are starting the day off. Like I said, my dad and I and Sam, we're working this uh, to the north. We're gonna end up on this little corn edge right here. Then we're gonna walk the corn uh, right to where we just were, where I shot that intro and Kent's blocking over there on that side. So you have a really good wind right now. It's blowing right at us. So all the pheasants scent uh, Daisy should be able to pick it up pretty good. And as you can see, she's working it really good. She's doing zigzags back and forth. And that's what you want to see. Also, drop a comment down below. Do you guys like the Upland videos? Because if you do, I'll make sure to go out with Daisy more and do more of them for you. All right, we made it to the corn. I'm going to walk in the middle. Oh, gosh. Yep. Yeah, good luck to you, sir. Shoot straight. We're gonna, have you guys ever seen the movie Children of the Corn? Today we're gonna play Mindak Bros in the corn. This looks like a very good environment for pheasants. We didn't flush up anything in the corn. Well, we did, but the problem was when you're working really tall standing corn 
with only three people and it's really wide, it's dang near impossible. So we didn't flush anything up. And then obviously as soon as we got out on the other end, they all started flying out. So we love that. But now we're gonna work just this grass area. There's a water source up there. This is decent cover. Hopefully we can get one for you guys. Oh boys, we scared one up, but it was way over there. I just decided to take a really long shot. And uh, yeah, that's what Daisy's probably smelling right now. But it's all right, it happens. Hen. They're all getting up so far. Oh, we got another one get up. And again, really long shot. Nothing really you can do there. Just decided to take pokes at them. <sighs> we'll see. Hen. Oh. oh. Oh, there's so many pheasants flying around, but the problem oh. That scared the living heck out of me. Holy crap. Okay, well, there was a pheasant. I was just about to say there's a lot of pheasants not holding tight. And then that one held tight, so we love that. Well guys, it is the next day. And what ended up happening yesterday is we looked for that pheasant for a long time. And finally, Daisy came up with it. And my, for some reason, my GoPro audio stopped working. So there was literally no sound on it. So I'll kind of just overlay a little clip of Daisy bringing me the bird. Um, but after that, we just packed it up and went home. We only got one bird that we saw so many, but the problem was that there was no wind and sneaking up on these pheasants was nearly impossible. They are way too smart. And anytime they heard us, they literally got up like minimum 70 yards away. And like, I took a lot of shots at some birds, but I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to get any closer shots. So I might as well send it. Knowing that I wasn't going to hit anything, I just decided to fling some lead at them. But it is the next day and I'm kind of hungry. I think it's time to cook the pheasant that I shot yesterday. Oh yeah, over here we got a nice little breast. You can see that. She, she looks good. I thought to myself, what can I do that I haven't done yet on this channel? And I don't think I've ever made a pheasant quesadilla. All right, I know it's called quesadilla, but I like to say quesadilla to make some people mad. So we're gonna cook this bad boy up and hopefully you guys enjoy. I mean, it's gonna be super easy. And if you guys wanna do it at your home for yourself, you guys should be able to do it. All right, so we're just gonna take out the breast right here. And that should definitely be enough uh, for our little quesadilla that we're making. This is a beautiful specimen and we're just going to trim off some of the fat and uh, basically just chop it up so we can put it in a quesadilla. All right, there's our pheasant breast. Now it's time to throw it on the stove. All right, we got some butter in the pan here at a medium heat. We're just gonna start dumping these bad boys in here and we're gonna add some seasonings now. All right, I'm just gonna mix this around a little bit. Then, in my cupboard over here, I got just the thing. Mm -mm -mm. Smoky barbecue. We're just gonna dash this on there. Oh, I just broke the thing on accident. We're gonna dash it on there. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna mix it around. And this thing is gonna be minty. Oh, it smells really good. This isn't gonna take very long to cook. 
uh, you know, because it's pretty lean. So I would say if you cook this for about, eh, I don't know, four minutes each side, it should be pretty, pretty good to go. Alright, so now that the pheasant is pretty much done, got a good brown on each side, cooked it all the way through, looks pretty good. We're going to take it off and put it on the side, okay, just like that. And then we're going to put the pan back on here and lower the heat to eh, medium-low to a low-ish. Then we're going to grab our tortillas, but I do not have tortillas. I have these like little, I don't know, these little wrap thingamabobbers, so that's what I'm going to have to use to today if you guys have actual flour tortillas i would recommend doing that but if not it's okay we're just going to dump our pheasant back into the pan just like so i probably should have sprayed some pam around uh the rim here but i didn't i'm hoping the butter that i put in there is still good to go and all you do is just spread out everything just like that. And then you take, I got Mexican style cheese. You can take whatever type of cheese you like. And we're just going to give it a dousing. Yes, sir. I'm a big cheese guy, so I'm definitely going to layer it on there. Mm -mm -mm. It's looking so good already, just like this. Yes, indeed. You can put whatever else you want in there, like vegetables, peppers, onions, but I'm just going to put some taco sauce in there, all right? We're just going to sprinkle it on there, just to get it everywhere, just like that, all right? And then we're going to cover it up, like so. No clue if this is how you make a tortilla. Drop a comment down below and let me know, but this is how I'm doing it. And it's probably not a bad idea to cover the top, let it all just really soak in there, get it nice and warm. All right, that side's looking pretty good, so we are gonna go for a flip. Um, there's probably a better way to do this flip, but I'm not doing it correctly. I'm a little nervous. I think I might just go for it. Oh God. Oh, that was, that was so hot. I would not recommend doing that, but somehow my weird technique did work. We're just gonna let the other side cook a little bit longer and hopefully the cheese melts so it sticks together. But right now I'm having a hard problem with uh, the cheese sticking. So if you guys have any comments or tips on how to make quesadillas better, let me know in the comment section, please, because this is like literally probably my first time making a quesadilla in the stove on the stove top. I usually just like throw it in the microwave and call it good. All righty, we're going to call that good. Take it off, put it on our plate, and now we got to cut it up. Check out the finished product if the camera will focus. Oh yeah. All right, boys. Cheers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That pheasant is good. Mm. Took me, I don't know. Seven minutes to make. This is a really good meal to make if you're in a rush or don't have the most culinary skills. I highly suggest this. Mm, so good. 
I wish I had some salsa or some sour cream to dip this in. That would be so good. Mm. But I don't know if you guys can really see inside there at all. Or It's gas. So good. Well, guys, I absolutely destroyed the rest of that quesadilla. And oh my gosh, it was so good. If you guys are looking to make something that's super easy to do and doesn't take much time or skill, definitely would suggest that. But I would suggest also having cream, like sour cream and salsa to dip it in. And you can add some peppers and stuff in there if you like as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a really short and quick one. Um, I'm sorry, we just, the content was kind of tough, man. I mean, there just wasn't birds acting how they were supposed to act. They weren't holding tight and they were jumping and we did the best that we could. So drop a comment down below. Let me know how did your guys' pheasant opener go? I'm very curious to see how you guys did. Did you guys go out on some guided thing or did you guys grind public or did you have families that had farmland that you could hunt on? Like, I'm curious about all that kind of stuff and I wanna see what you guys wanna watch down below in the comments as well. Like, what type of videos you wanna watch, whether it's a certain type of pheasant video or a waterfowl video. You know what I'm saying, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Mountain Dew and Pheasants Forever and we will catch you on the next one.